Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we complete a bracket challenge to see what bottle would be best suited for an urn. My name is Miss Becca Sue. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, George Rose, Danny Kennard, and Kaylee Baker. Hey, gang. What's up? Howdy. Hey. Hey. Hey, oh, so yeah, we've got a fun show today. We're going to be talking about what bottle would you use as an urn? This one came up when we did our, which bottle shape would you use for a casket? And we said, well, what if you were using an actual bottle? What would be a good one to put your ashes in? So whether or not your plan on being cremated for this show, uh, you will be answering the question in that way. So it should be fun. We'll be doing a bracket challenge to determine the best option. We'll get to that though, after the break for right now, Becca said there's something she want to talk about. What is that, Becca? Yeah, so I saw a post from a Mr. Jimmy Fosnott the other day that Mm -hmm. he's going to be making an attempt to re-listen to every single Bourbon Daily show and to take notes. Now, from the surface, from people that maybe aren't on the show or maybe are on here occasionally and have never made assholes out of themselves, (laughs) that sounds like a great thing. (laughs) <laughs> right, you know, document what happened on each show, whatever. To people like myself, and possibly Danny Kennard, and possibly Kaylee, and even you, yep. Steve, maybe not so much George. Right, this is the worst the thing that could yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it it's, it's five start, years of our lives uh, documented out there. Yeah, you know? it, it or made six me years start now, yeah, thinking me. about some of the shows that we've recorded. Oh yeah, and. I realized that I don't want Jim to do that. He's doing it. Uh, I, I can hear him. Like when he's in the office, he does all the books and all that kind of stuff. So when he's in the office, he, I hear him turn on the shows and then I go in there and he's got a notepad next oh, to him fuck. where he's writing down notes and shit. I don't know what he's come up with so far because he's is, early on. He's like you, in the fifth, 15 show or something. So do, do you understand Steve? Cause this is not just a me problem. This is a you problem too. This is not good for any of us. <laughs> this is not good for a single person that has been on the show. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about how I was like, oh, thinking, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, there's show 529. Everyone's listened to it. I'm an asshole. But there's, there's another show. There. There's yeah. the other one where I pass out and Ashley McGee comes in there and pushes me out of the way. I've got a Santa Claus hat on my head. You don't know which number that is. Right, right. So a a lot of stuff. You don't lost. find it. It's been <laughs> lost in history. Yeah, no one well. knows where to find it. Steve can't hit the replay button when yeah. we're, we're rerunning sh- some shows. But now, now yeah. that show is going to be found. Jim's going to fucking write it down and you're going to go, oh, fantastic. <laughs> Let's make a fucking record of this. <laughs> Yeah, Does it's like else? we talk about a lot of shows, like when McNew fell off the couch and then just had to record from the floor, just yelled up to the microphone. That's fun. gone. I, we I, we got two thousand shows, unless somebody wants to go back and start listening to them, which Jim is doing. Uh, that's gone because it's not like it's you know it has a, it's not like the title of the show is McNew falls off the couch. So the title of the show is whatever the topic is, and the description is we talk about this. The, you know the the shit that happens in the show just happens in the show. So yeah, yeah, this is not know. good. No, no. Danny. Everyone should be scared. And people who've been off the shows for a while, 
there's some people like guess what yeah. stuff's gonna be relived here very shortly yeah what yeah. about uh, i would keep track if i was doing this i would keep track of the amount of time danny's on the shows and the amount of time danny's sleeping in the show so yeah we can see we can see oh, that sleep time yeah far yeah. passes that uh, yeah like 63 percent of the time danny's show. on the show he's sleeping or something yeah. you know that, i'd love to see that stat actually oh yeah that'd like, be a good I, one i was i was talking to, to nate weininger about this last night and i was like this is bad nate and Nate's like, yeah, I, uh, there's a show that I know I was a jackass. Oh, and he's yeah. Like, and I don't want to know. I don't want. I don't want to know when it was. Yeah, he had to apologize the next day, but I didn't ask him to. He just calls me up and says, you know, hey, I know this is bad. <laughs> I'm like, I actually, I don't care because I like it to be a good show, you know. So even though Nate's totally off the rails and screaming at me and the stuff, worse it I, is, it's not like I'm mad about it. I'm like, oh, this is good. To yeah, the, to. the worse it is, the better it is. Yeah, right. Exactly. But. That doesn't mean that I want those relived for me. <laughs> I'm really hoping that there's a greatest clips show that comes out. Oh gosh, yeah. We'll see with all with all this on it. Yeah. We'll see. I, I'm safe because Danny didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was all Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah Freddie I, Mills did a whole lot of shit, though. What unfortunately, I your little tag in the bottom corner of your screen doesn't change to Freddie at any certain point, so it's yeah. still you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you think all those great moments with Danny, like the time he gets woken up, and it's just, Danny, you're on, you're podcasting. <laughs> Danny, Danny doesn't even know where he's at. He wakes up and he has no idea where he's at. And she's like, you're podcasting. <laughs> Where else? There's the you know how many thousands and thousands of podcasts. How how many podcasts do you think where they're waking up one of the hosts of the show saying you're, you're podcasting right now? It's uh, when you bring that up, Steve. <laughs> right. It's not a good look for us that so many of us have fallen asleep on the show so often. <laughs> okay, it's not a good look. And also, hey. I would never just say that like, oh yeah, we've got we, people fall asleep during the show a lot. That sounds like. It's boring. It's boring. Yeah. No, it's not lack of content. It's no, uh it's not lack alcohol. of us having fun. It it's is alcohol induced. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. It just it is who we are. I mean, yeah, well, we're not actors. We're just being ourselves. So yeah. Yeah. it's uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so that's just what I want to talk about is our impending doom. Yeah, it's coming. Because of, it's coming. Because it's only on about fogs. show 15. So uh, the the new, new crew doesn't, yeah, yeah, he's got a lot to, I mean, the new crew doesn't even come in until about show 69. That's where the first of the new people comes. That's Renee. And then shortly after that, then McNew and then Becca. What? And then, uh, uh, yeah. I, Cause like, so my, so 529. Oh, that's your way into it. Then you, you I, been I've been recording for, for at least yeah. a year yeah. by then. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So, so 365. Yeah. yeah. I never realized that I had started so far in or, or early. I early, think. yeah. Oh, yeah. You're 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 pretty early too. People so, have been yeah. listening to me for way too long, and I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what, gang? As we uh, await our fate uh, in Jim's review, uh, it is time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Danny. Danny, what do you got? Steve, I've got a personal favorite, of mine and yours. Okay. Barrel seagrass. Oh, seagrass. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not much there. Not, not much of the cork pop. Um, Becca, you're next. What do you got? Um, I've got a sample here, actually, from uh, our buddy, uh, Nate Weiniger. It's a, uh, it's the name of the single barrel was Top Shelf No Dust. It's a 10 and a half year old OBSV. So from Four Roses, but it's a sample. So. Okay. Mm, I've got nothing. I see it's from his sticker club because he's got a sticker on there. Yep. Yeah. 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 I, stick club. That's the thing. Oh, sweet. All right. Uh, Pappy G, what do you got? I've got my old standby, my lemonade and pop casey. <laughs> All right. All right. Kelly, what do you got? <laughs> did he just spill a little out the side when he picked it up? I think he did. I think I heard a little bit of it there. <laughs> There's less uh, than there used to be. Well, uh, well, it's on the list, and I've always enjoyed the physique of this bottle, not necessarily the, the physique, content. The <laughs> I've never heard a bottle. The yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at the physique on that bottle. Damn. Yeah. I'm taking you home with me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here it goes. 
Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I actually think that's enough to take the lead, unfortunately. Oh, wow. It's sad state of affairs. That's the lead right now. Uh, I've got Blom Brothers. Uh, so it's their bourbon. So Blom Brothers bourbon. Let's see what we got. I, probably not. I, I should have really picked more I could win. It's, it'd be an easy win, but uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get it with this. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Nice, basey. Uh, not a whole lot there, Unfortunately, but enough to win. We couldn't hear anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah There's muffle. nothing on our end. Okay. But the good news is, I'm the judge, and the audience <laughs> gets to hear what's on my microphone. So the audience, will, no, my microphone doesn't cut out on 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 the recording, so it's fine. So it's, you have to trust me. There's a there's a level of trust there. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers, guys. I guess cheers to Steve. Mm -hmm. Cheers to me. All right. What we'll do next, we'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, it's going to be bracket challenge time. We're going to find what bottle we would use for an urn. We'll do that in just a few. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We'll also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. new don't mix your grain and grapes not a good time you're listening to the bourbon daily welcome back to the bourbon daily if you're dying what urn bottle are you going into yes we are so this is kind of fun because you can choose whatever you want and uh imagine you know just uh on the mantle uh you know there's a there's a bottle uh for your loved ones so moving forward you get to tell them what it should be and uh, there sits your ashes and, in, in, uh, you know, uh, whatever your favorite bottle is. So uh, if you like the physique of the bottle, maybe that's why you like it. Uh, that might be the reason. Maybe it's there's a brand that you liked. You know, there's a lot of reasons why you could you could uh, pick pick one here. So we'll, we'll see. It's uh, going to be personal choices. But here's the challengers for this one. Blanton's, Willet Pot Still, Pappy Van Winkle, Green River Distillery, Birthday Bourbon, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, the old uh, Fantail bottle. I did note that. Jim Beam and Jack Daniels, last but not least. The matchups are going to look like this. Here's how they play out. Jim Beam will take on Blanton's. Birthday Bourbon takes on Willet Pot still. 
Green River Distillery takes on Kentucky Spirit of the Fantail. And then finally, Pappy Van Winkle takes on Jack Daniels. Round number one up first is going to be Jim Veen versus Blanton's George Year First. Which one do you think should be the one to put your ashes in? Blanton. Blanton's, Blanton's goes up one nothing. Kaylee, what do you think? She's gone for some reason. Kaylee. Oh, there she is. Getting some Blanton's and a Jim Beam, or what's she doing? Yeah, I was getting my Blanton's and sweet tea, you know? That's how I roll. Okay. But definitely going for the Blanton's. Blanton's goes up 2 nothing. Danny, what do you think? Blanton's or Jim Beam? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go with the Blanton's bottle. It looks cooler. <laughs> Blanton's cooler. Okay. What letter would you uh, prefer, Danny? Because you got uh, D and K, <laughs> don't uh, don't mess, uh, don't play into the equation. I I don't no. uh, stand a. I, I mean, I you know I I'm sitting good with Blanton's, but yeah, not well, so much for you. Well, I have uh, to make my own letter. <laughs> your own letter. Okay, fair enough. Stick it on top. Fair enough. Okay, Blanton's moves on. Next up is Birthday Bourbon versus Willet Pot Still. Eh, oddly, two similarly kind of shaped bottles. You know, the, yeah. the Willet Pot Still has uh, the same bottom, and then the base is of course taller, but. Uh, Kaylee, you're going to be first. Birthday bourbon or will it pot still? So I'm going to go with birthday bourbon because, in my opinion, will it pot still has always struck me as a, a bottle that you would turn into a smoking device. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another area of expertise for Kaylee. All right. So Danny, <laughs> Danny, you're next. Uh, birthday bourbon or will it pot still? I'm going to go with birthday bourbon because I like the contents in it. Okay, mm -hmm. birthday bourbon is up to nothing. Miss Becca Sue, birthday bourbon or will it pot still? Yeah, you know, the, the pot still one definitely looks cool, but the birthday bourbon one is almost just calling for my charred remains. Yeah, I, I don't it's disagree. Ironic, ironic yeah. too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on your birth, birthday, birthday too, bourbon and it's your yeah. death. It's your death <laughs> birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you right. go. You, you, let, you let everybody share in the bottle and then put you in it. Yeah. <laughs> then there you go. There that you is go. a good idea. Yeah. Then you can celebrate twice a year your your birthday and your death birthday, as she as <laughs> right. Becca said. <laughs> We've invented a new term, the death birthday. All right, uh, Danny, you're going to be first here. Green River Distillery, which they have a fantastic new bottle, is going to be taking on uh, Kentucky Spirit, the old Kentucky family. Spirit all the way. Kentucky Spirit goes. Did you know that the, about me. And he does like his wild turkey. So, yeah. Miss Becca Sue, what do you think? Uh, Green River Distillery with the, the horseshoe on the bottom, which is kind of cool. Maybe maybe that plays into it. Here it is. If you, if you yeah, haven't it. seen it. Yeah, good looking bottle. Uh, good looking, uh, the yeah. best is this part a right here. Handsome, yeah. horseshoe on the bottom. A handsome bottle. It is. It is. Unfortunately, I'm not a horse girl. And so I'm going to go with the other one, which is. which is Fantail. Maybe the, maybe Fantail. The Fantail. Say, I, I'd rather do the Fantail. I'm not going to say I'm a turkey yeah. girl either, but. I do like uh, wild turkey. Yeah, uh, and the fantail is yeah. cool. I do love the new Green River bottle, but uh, fantail is cool. I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. So I'm I'm gonna go with fantail. So fantail moves on. All right, next up is Pappy Van Winkle or Jack Daniels. Uh, two opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of uh, uh, you know pricing, but uh, we'll see what uh, this group likes. Uh, Miss Becca Sue, you're first. Pappy Van Winkle or Jack Daniels. I just can't go with Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Van Winkle. Yeah. So I got to go with Pappy w or excuse me. Winkle. Winkle. Yeah. Winkle. <laughs> this is a weird one because yeah, it feels a little pretentious and like you're part of the, uh, uh, you know, bourbon tater society being in the Pappy Van Winkle. So I'm going to go Jack Daniels. I'm just going to say I'm a man of the people. I'm going to go basic. I'll go Jack Daniels. George, what do you think? Gentlemen, Jack. Jack goes up two to one after falling behind. Kaylee, you're next. Jack or Pappy? Oh, I would love to have a bottle of Pappy uh, hold my remains, but I'm a Tennessee girl, born and raised, so I feel like it would make the most sense for me, anyways, to go in a bottle of Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels moves on. Our final four looks like this. Blanton's and birthday bourbon. And then we'll have Fantail versus Jack Daniels. Round number five. I'm first. Blanton's or birthday bourbon? Whew. Hmm. Both good looking bottles. Mm -hmm. um, I think birthday bourbon is the one, though. I think that 
it has kind of a, just a weird enough look to be like his ashes are in there and people be like, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Uh, in the Blantons, they would be like, eh, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go birthday bourbon. Birthday bourbon goes up one nothing. George, what do you think? Blanton. Blanton's has tied it up. All right. Next up is Kelly. Uh, so I'm going to go for the irony again and go for the birthday bourbon. Birthday bourbon uh, jumps back to two to one lead. Danny. Birthday. Birthday moves on. We'll be in the finale. All right. Next up is a wild turkey fan tail for Kentucky Spirit or Jack Daniels. Round number six. George, you're first. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels goes up one nothing. Kelly. I'm going to go for Jack Daniels as well. Jack Daniels as well. Uh, Danny. I uh, got a question for you before I answer that. Are we talking today's modern bottle of Jack Daniels or the older ones, like the old, cool old decanters? No, just the regular ones. Just, uh, just, just the regular uh, ones? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Danny passes away. Uh, Misty runs to the store, gets a bottle of... Uh, she just, still doesn't drink, so she gets the bottle of JD, pours it down the sink, and be like, okay, Danny wanted to go in that and throws it No. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, got to go with the other one. Okay. All right. So the wild turkey fantail. Wild turkey fantail. Yep. All right, uh, so here's where it, Jack is still up two to one over the fantail. Miss Becca Suet has life. What do you think, the fantail or Jack Daniels? Fantail. Fantail. All right. Fantails has tied it up. The fantail or Jack Daniels? Well, the Jack Daniels is the number one merchandise whiskey brand besides being the biggest whiskey. But that but being fantail said, bottle's the coolest. Fantail bottle is one of the coolest bottles that's ever been made. I'm going to go the fantail means the fantail after falling behind two to one comes back and moves on. So it's birthday Ooh. bourbon versus the fantail in the finale round number seven. Kaylee, you're first birthday bourbon or wild Turkey, Kentucky spirit fantail edition. I'm going to go with birthday bourbon. Still love the irony. Birthday bourbon goes up one, nothing. Danny, what do you think? Hard choice. Very hard choice. Mm. I'll go with the fantail. Fantail has tied it up. Miss Becca Sue, birthday bourbon or the fantail? I'm sticking with birthday bourbon. Birthday bourbon. Birthday bourbon goes up two to one. I can give this thing life in this game, or I can end it right now. I like both of them enough that I'm going to vote to extend the life for one of these in the game by voting for the fantail, uh, meaning we've tied it up. It all comes down to George Rose now. George, birthday bourbon or the fantail, what would be the best earn? We're officially recommending this, uh, so, so it's but it's all on you. Ed Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess the fantail. The fantail is our champion. So the fantail, yeah, boo, yeah. So boo. get out, get out, and get your fantails, folks, because uh, they are discontinued. You're going to need that when you die. You don't want to make your relatives just you know, search those things down. Or if not, if you're out of them, call Danny. You, uh, he'd be willing to sell one to your heirs for just about a thousand dollars for an empty bottle. That, <laughs> you know, that's a <laughs> fucking steal, though, compared to a casket. Right? Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. steal. That's a steal. So not bad. Uh, yeah, a uh, wooden urn. Is almost as much as a casket now. Yeah, it is. Right. So there you go. All right. We'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. George, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? Uh, Facebook, Ask Peppy G, uh, Instagram, Peppy G in Kentucky. And I believe it's Peppy G67 on the old TikTok. On TikTok. Okay. Kelly. Uh, you can come find me out at Leatherwood Distillery at one of our two locations, maybe at our grand opening on July 29th. And follow me on Instagram at Kaleo Baker and at The Bourbon Bakers. All right, Danny. You can find me at Danny Kennard on Facebook. This Becca Sue. You can find me at Neely Family Distillery. And you can also find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, 1K, no C's. 
All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. You really need to check that out. Everything that we do is out there. We've got over 3,000 shows for you to listen to. So please uh, don't go too far back, though. So you can go back 50 shows uh, on the Bourbon Daily. All right. That's that's the deal. All right. For the love of God. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's all at abvnetwork.com. Ms. Becca, do anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd just like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV Network. All right. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. If you are a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.